Mr. President. What are you doing here? It's one o'clock in the morning. I called over to the residence. They said you were in the office. You were home? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I signed off on canceling the trip. I signed off on setting the vote. You came over here to stand in front of Josh? No. It's almost 8 a.m. in Kumar. You shouldn't cancel the trip. You should tell me to call the State Department. Why? What are the alternatives? What are you saying? What are the alternatives? Are we going to attack Kumar? Maybe. Now? We can kill all the armed teenagers we want. We still won't have Sharif. Let's get some more intelligence. Let's get some more counsel. More counsel is going to help me violate international law. It's pretty easy to say this is a war scenario. It's pretty easy to say anything is a war scenario. This is a war on poverty. This is it's a slippery stop stuff. Stop it. What? Let's stop it already. This is the most horrifying part of your liberalism. You think there are moral absolutes. There are moral absolutes. Apparently not. He's killed innocent people. He'll kill more, so we have to end him. The village idiot comes to that conclusion before the Nobel laureate. El Principe has justified every act of oppression. This is justified. This is required. Says who? Says me, Mr. President. You want to go ask some more people, they'll say so too. Well, a mob mentality is just... Not a mob. Just you. Right now. This decision. Which, by the way, is one of self-defense. Let Sharif come here and we have options. Cancel the trip and we have none. That's all we're talking about right now. There are moral absolutes. Make the call. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs>